That's the best we can do for now. We keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Shay Cormac, I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you have seen. Well, I know both the assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but a tree. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them and Haiti falls or... Lisbon, or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity in the uh, Lugelberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Guest, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Captain. Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Duly noted. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damn continent. I fear we'll take more than that, friend. Whenever someone mentions hell freezing over, I will think back fondly on these days. Well, I woke up in the morning, slip and sore, boys. And I knew that I was outward bound again. And the voice came a falling at the door, boys. They asked me that I had to see you. on the quarter deck when first I see him. Such an ugly bunch I've never seen before. There was a bum and stiff from every corner. There she is! The HMS Pembroke. Captain James Cook's ship. She's a beauty. Man of war. Fully armed. We should bring the Morrigan alongside. Master Kenway will surely be waiting. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. 
Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormack, Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. If they launch this attack... Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real uh, firepower. I believe I shall, Captain. Lawrence and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who's their commander? Major General Amherst himself, back from Hanover. You take an interest in the war, Shay? Wouldn't want to disappoint you, sir. Brief in our tops! It is imperative we stop those ships, Captain. The outcome of the war may depend on it. Make good use of your own mortars, Shay. It will prove crucial if we are to succeed. Dear God, fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. And we'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir. It's the Experto Credit. At Wally. How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Agreed. We have to get rid of those fire ships. We're right in their path. We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way. Get out of their way! 
is hopeless. Perhaps it would be wiser to fall back. Foreign wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! They are foundering! the Royal Navy. We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning. That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. Adewale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. Look what the wind just blew in. Hail and good morrow, gentlemen. Once again, Captain Cook's resourcefulness has served us well. I have located the man you were seeking. Adewale? Exactly. He was last seen in the French fort not two leagues from here along the river. What would that scallywag be doing in a French fort? Refitting his vessel, I suppose, after Louisbourg. Thank you, Master Cook. We'll take it from here. Farewell and Godspeed. Gentlemen. The fort's just up ahead. Good. Let us continue onward. to maneuver. Maneuverability is hardly the point. Well, I don't intend to find out the point. Let's stay out of her way. We can find our way around her. Just keep to the smaller rivers where she can't follow. And do try to remain unseen. We don't want to attract unwanted attention. Why would the French bring such a ship inland? The war is drawing to its close. They're becoming desperate. We'll expend any efforts to gain firepower. No offense to Captain Cook, but that lady has more firepower than any I've had the pleasure of meeting. It's not really my type. Ah, but the French ones can have a certain charm. Did I ever tell you the story of Madame Frenette? <laughs> that wasn't her real name, but... Right, the time. Point is, I think I know a safe place where we can depart. Sail on! So what's the plan? Do we bombard the fort? It would be foolhardy to simply storm the fort. 
What Adewale is doing there. Keep the Morgan close, Kiss. Aye, sir. I'll keep her close, and I'll keep her safe. Good luck, Shay. I make my own luck, Master Kenway. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, tu nous aimeras pas Le voilà So, the Templars sent their dog after me. Time to test your metal shield. Uh, uh. He'd stand still and fight me. Akumali is facing you on his own terms, picking the battlefield. And on his own ship, he is most deep. Fight those martyrs, as we'll be swimming home tonight. This river's getting uncomfortably narrow. Don't you worry, sir. Shea has gotten us out of tighter scrapes before. And the lake ahead is a dead end. And a Wally won't be able to get out. A novel tactic? He's saving his crew. No. He's making a last stand. Let's not disappoint him. Go after him, Shay. I will circle around. Follow him, Shay. I will try to corner him. Oh, 
Dog Grandmaster Templar. I must have caused quite a ruckus for both of you to be chasing me. Indeed. You've been afford on our side for far too long. I served with your father, Hither. He would be ashamed to see what you have become. Really? I wasn't aware my father had a sense of shame. Do not speak ill of your father. If you become half the man he was, it will be a blessing. Blessing or curse. I my own man. Have you had enough, old man? This old man will put you in an early grave, Hitler. Younger men have tried and failed. I have got a good line on him. Boy, fool! You will die as a traitor! Forgive me, Atawale. You dare beg forgiveness, child? Hell welcomes traitors like you. Then I go there proudly, knowing I have done right. It does not matter. Achilles already has what he needs. I will kill every last man who defends him if I must. I cannot let him succeed. You have become a monster, Shape. Perhaps I have. Come. 